Hey guys, what's up? It's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my guide to styling dresses in winter. So it is currently autumn in Melbourne. We're getting into winter. It's sad. It's such a nice day today though. It's like full on blue skies and hot. So that's amazing. But yeah, we're going to be getting into some colder weather. I feel like everyone's kind of getting into the colder... Well, if you're, if you're in America or Europe, you're getting into the warmer weather, but it's still a little bit cold. So this would apply for you guys too. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. Okay, so the first dress that I have is this leopard one here. I actually don't think I've ever worn this one because I just find it really difficult to style because firstly it's like basically sheer, completely like see-through and also it's got this back, like open back detail and I don't really know, what, like I can't wear a bra with it and it's just, it's a difficult dress to style. However, I feel like it would be a really good option for winter because you can kind of lay things underneath and you don't have to worry about the bra situation and all that kind of stuff. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer this turtleneck underneath. So this is what it looks like. I really, really, really love how this looks. I think it looks really chic and I like the beigey neutral that's kind of crossed between with the leopard. I think it's like, I think it's like a really nice um, match. I think it's a really nice duo. Um, I think the problem with this dress is also it doesn't quite fit me. It's like a bit big for me at the back, you can see. So I'm just gonna use a hair tie to kind of like cinch this. So next I'm gonna add some tights. I think for this look, I... So yeah, okay. So depending on where you are in the world and how cold it is, you can adjust the level of your tights. So there's like sheer tights, there's more like woolen, really thick tights. I've got these sheer ones, I've got some pat I think these are like um, some patterned fishnet ones and then I've got some other like cool pattern ones. I might go for the sheer because I think it'll be nice with the like the sheer and the dress. So get the stockings on. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think this is so like pretty. I love this outfit so much. I'm such a fan. The last thing that I'm gonna do is add a jacket. Okay, well, no, we need to add shoes as well. But next I'm gonna add a jacket. So I'm gonna add this one here. This is one that I got from Savers. This one is from my thrift haul. Okay, and finally, I'm gonna be adding boots to this look. So I could either go one of two ways. One is either go for docks, or otherwise I can go for high-heeled knee-high boots. So let's try both on and see how it goes. Okay, and the thing is like you can kind of change it up depending on what mood you're in or depending what kind of depending what kind of event or like outing you're going on. So I feel like docks are good for more like something more casual if you want to be comfortable and you know yeah so I recently um, added these yellow and brown laces and I think the brown kind of goes nicely with the brown and the dress, which is good. So it ties everything kind of in. I, yeah, I'm such a fan of this with the docks. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. I, I'm really like, I'm really feeling this outfit. Okay, so in terms of more like feeling warmer and stuff, you could add thick socks to underneath, like to wear underneath your docks as well. You could wear thicker tights and then you could wear a big coat over the top of this. But this is probably good for like a Melbourne winter. We don't have like really severe cold, cold like weather, although it does feel like it, but we're just dramatic. Um, so this is a good option for, yeah, like, you know, your Melbourne winter. Uh, I'm gonna try on the knee high boots as well because I feel like that will be a nice option with this outfit for a more formal kind of like party or something that you might have to attend. So with the knee high boots, I like this look as well. I think, yeah, it just depends on what kind of event you're going to. If you want something more formal and if also these are warmer, it's a warmer option, it covers more of your leg as well. So it really depends. But, whoa, <laughs> just kill that flower. It's already dead, but anyways. So this is the first outfit done. First dress styled for winter. So dress number two is this one right here. And this is actually one that I wear all the time in winter because it's long sleeve, it's super warm. It's, it's a nice, oh my God, I thought I had it on inside out for a second. 
yeah, anyway, so it's like a nice cotton material and it's fitted, so it keeps you nice and warm. So the things that we're going to add to this one is a cardigan. So I'm going to add this pink cardigan because you're not really going to be able to see it, but it's going to keep me super warm. And it's like this nice crop. This is like, this is one that I thrifted and it's literally kid size and you can tell like the arms are so short, but the good thing about it is that it's super fitted and it's like this nice knit material. So it's yeah, hyper warm, hyper warm. Next, we're going to add stockings again. So stockings are your best friend when it comes to styling dresses in winter, you need them. There's no question about it. Every single outfit will have stockings in it. So since this is just kind of like, it doesn't, it doesn't have it, like this outfit doesn't have a print. It's just like a solid color. I might go for a, hmm. Might go for like a patterned stocking. All right, so this kind of gives the effect of a sheer kind of look because there's, there's like skin showing, I guess, but it's like more of a knitted vibe. Okay, so. I'm going to keep this outfit pretty like in the red pink kind of um, color scheme. So I've got some red boots, which I think will look good, but I'm not sure if it's going to be too much. I don't know if I should break the whole color up with like some black boots or something because I'm also going to be wearing a pink jacket. Let's do jackets first. Okay, so I have two options for jackets. The first is this um, faux fur one in pink. So yeah, so as I said, you can't see the pink cardigan at all, which is what I want as well. You don't want to be able to see that. It just kind of gets hidden underneath whatever jacket you're wearing over the top, but it just gives you that extra layer of warmth. Okay, so I like this. I feel like this is more of like a going out night, evening kind of look. Um, you know, you can, it, yeah, obviously, I mean, you can wear faux fur in the day. There's no rule against that, but it's more of like, yeah, going out to dinner, going out for a drink and that kind of vibe. It's very like, cool. I'm ready. I've arrived. <laughs> um, so if you want to keep, keep it a little bit more casual, let's go. Actually, you know what? We're going to add boots first. So what we'll do is try these red boots. I really don't know if this is too much red or not. Let's see. Oh, I kind of like this. It kind of matches exactly to my dress, which is really rare for that to happen. I'm, I'm kind of loving this. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. I am kind of loving this. These boots are super comfortable. I thrifted, thrifted them in Dalesford in Victoria and yeah, they're, they're literally like 20 bucks and amazing. They're super comfy. I like the heel on them. It's like a solid heel. And yeah, they're a bit different. So I like, I like. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is change the jacket option Whew. so if you want a more casual option then we're gonna go for this suede jacket it's got this lining on it which is yeah super super warm and it's more of a crop length so oh I like this I like this as well I feel like you know matching the boots and the, the dress isn't overwhelming because there's like this gap of, you know, skin slash like black sheerness, then you've got the pink as well. So it's a bit of a contrast, which I think is needed as well. But this is the second outfit. Okay, so this is the third dress. It's a really cute mini. It's got this like nice Aztec kind of print. First thing that I'm gonna do is add a black turtleneck. Okay, so I've got my turtleneck on. I left my tights on from, from before because I could not be bothered taking them off. But you get it, we wear tights with all the, with all the outfits. So yes, next is deciding what shoes I'm gonna wear. I think I'm gonna go for my docks because the yellow laces, the yellow laces in these uh, match really nicely with the yellow in the dress. And I think it's just, Look, will look super coordinated and put together. So docks it is. Docks is honestly one of my favorite boots to wear. Anyway, they're, they're flat, they're not heeled, but they've got a platform, so they give me height. It's just everything, everything you need. So I'm feeling a black jacket for this one because as I said, I want to keep everything kind of a little bit calmer because the dress is 
you know, the star of the show. So I'm gonna go for a black leather jacket. Okay, it's this oversized one right here. Oh, okay. Oh, I like this a lot because okay, this is the first time I'm actually like trying on the full outfits. I did plan the outfits properly, but I didn't like fully try them on. So that's why I'm like, oh, I like this because it's the first time I'm seeing it. So yeah, I really like the oversized fit of the jacket, and I think um, you know there's a little bit of leg showing, which uh, helps to kind of make everything a little bit more um, proportionately correct and especially because there's like bulk on the bottom with my docks and then we got bulk on the top with my jacket so yeah outfit three done okay and the next dress we have is this one right here so it's got this back detail obviously I don't usually wear a bra with this but since I'm gonna be laying layering things underneath it doesn't really matter so I'm gonna be wearing I'm deciding between either a white long sleeve top or a black long sleeve top so I decided that instead of layering some something underneath this time I'm gonna lay something over the top so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this black zip up top and we'll just kind of leave it open so that you can kind of see you can kind of tell it's a dress we can kind of zip it up a little bit more if you get a little bit cold, etc. So since this is a long dress, I think I might go for I might go for these boots because they've got a point toe, and also you can't like since you can't really see since it's a maxi dress, you you'll only really be able to see the bottom of the shoe, and I think it's it'll be nice for it to be like the point toe. I think a crop jacket would look good with this because you know it's a, it's a maxi dress and there's a lot of material so I'm gonna grab my black denim jacket so maxi dresses are a really good option for winter because you know you can wear like you can literally wear like pants or like full-on thermal leggings underneath them and no one will ever know so I'm wearing the same socks as earlier because I couldn't be bothered changing them but obviously yeah you can wear like anything to keep yourself warm underneath them which is really good so this is the fourth dress. I think we're on four. Yeah, this is the fourth dress. Okay guys, so this is the last dress for the guide to styling dresses in winter. So I've got this yellow one. I really love this one. This is one of my favourites. It's from Forever 21. And I love this tie detail, this tie shoulder detail. I think it's a really nice, really nice, really pretty, really feminine kind of look. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to add stockings as per usual. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is add my boots, these snakeskin babies. And I feel like going for a printed boot is nice because you've just got a solid color dress, so you're fine. Now I'm going to add my black turtleneck. So, turtlenecks on. Last thing I'm gonna do is add a huge teddy coat. <sighs> okay, so this is the teddy coat that I'm adding. It's a nice black one. This is gonna keep you warm for sure in sub arctic temperatures. So, final look done. So guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and found this video helpful. I really enjoyed making it. I like this kind of style with me format. So make sure to let me know in the comments if there's any other things that you want me to style or we'll focus on in the next guide. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.